Does your Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator, financial calculator, do this when you're trying to calculate something such as future value? Yeah, it just kind of turns right off. I enter all the information and I try and compute future value or present value or whatever I'm calculating and the calculator just turns off. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem in today's video. But first, I want to say I believe something wonderful is about to happen for you. So be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. This is my Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. It does a great job in calculating some financial calculations as well as just ordinary calculations. Uh, if you would like to get a one of these for yourself, uh, there's a link down in the description and uh, there should be one on the screen as well. But let me show you how to fix it when it goes off like that. Now I can turn it back on. Well, it's not even turning back on now. And why is that? Well, the batteries are low. That's the problem. The batteries are low. So I need to replace the battery and I've got um, the battery here. I've got a link in the description for this particular battery. This is the proper one for this calculator. So I'm going to show you the steps to replace the battery. So I'm going to flip it over and I've got this cover. This is the cover that goes on the front to protect it or you can put it on the back to store the cover. Um, take that off and flip it over and Hopefully you can will... see there's four screws on the back and I've got this nice little screwdriver here to take those out. Let's go ahead and remove those screws. It's good to have something to toss them in. Um, I've got a uh, nice Air Force mug here. I'm going to just toss them into my Air Force mug so I don't lose them. Two on the bottom. And here's the last one. Now the back should come off fairly easily. It may take a little bit of a tug just because it's form-fitting. Take a paper clip or something along, thin along those lines to help separate this out. it on each side. Uh, a small coin might work as well. Something you might have, whatever you have handy to separate this. And there we go. And you can see now this is the back, and in here is where the battery is. So I need to remove the battery, and it's held in just by a little tab. So I just am going to carefully push the battery out, pushing out the old battery. Maybe lift the tab a little bit while I push out the battery. There we go. And you want to be careful not to short out any of the electronics, so just 
be touching the battery and the packing of the, the, the holder for the battery. Try not to touch any of the other circuit boards. Once you get past that tab, it should come out a little bit easier. And I'm going to keep pushing on it. And take a moment to look at the orientation of the battery. And it is got the writing up. See how the writing is up? And you can see on here, in case you're, you're not sure, it's got the number. Put it here in the middle so maybe you can see it. It's got the number. Idea. the 2032 that's how you know which battery it is so I'm going to now open my package I only need one of these to go in the package so I've got a spare for another time or if I have another calculator I have a need for it go ahead and pull it out Plastic cover all the way around the battery, so you got to kind of pierce that to take it out. It's just extra protection for it. It just makes it extra hard to get out. So I should have employed some scissors from the start. Being careful not to cut myself. It's almost like they don't want you to get into it. And I finally got the battery free. And the same way I'm going to have the orientation with the wording up. See there's a two layers. There's a, a thinner, more narrow layer and then a top layer where the writing is. So that's going to go in this way. And likewise, I need to hold that little tab up, but I think it kind of slides in underneath nicely. I want to push it all the way in so it's secure and that the tab is down. Make sure it's secured in there. Now that that's in, I'm going to put the back back on. And if you recall, that was uh, that was quite tricky to get this back on. So it snaps, and then let's get the let's get the screws back out of my Air Force mug. Go Air Force. If you don't know, I I did serve in the Air Force, the United States Air Force. So hence my love of the Air Force. Let's get the oh, let's get the screws back in. It would help if I had thinner fingers. And when you tighten these, you only want to get it till it stops. You don't want to over tighten it. It will crack. And I recommend if you do this top one, do the opposite corner. That way you are not tightening it all on one side first. This gets a little bit of both sides. Let's get it started. Get the screwdriver in here. Oops. And this is one of those. Um, this is like a eyeglass screwdriver. I'll put a link for the battery and the screwdriver. You need to get that for yourself. It's handy for all kinds of small tasks like this. It's handy for small tasks. Let's get the other corner.
and the final corner. And snap back cover on and look at that it's on again and let's see if it can do a calculation uh, we're gonna do present value uh, we'll say it's at eight percent and it's gonna be for 20 periods and we're gonna do to compute future value there we go and it does it quickly just like before, I've got videos in on my channel showing exactly how to do the financial calculations um, and the time value of money calculations, but I just wanted to show you how to replace the battery on this particular model. Now you know how to do it. If you find this type of stuff helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Now go make it an awesome day. Thank you.